Jessica, thanks. Well, happening right now, new numbers confirming the booming real estate market in El Paso County, but some of the numbers also show some changes actually in uh, what's happening in this market. Bill Folsom in studio looking into what this means for buyers, sellers, and those just interested in home prices. Yeah, El Paso County is considered one of the hottest real estate markets in the country. Only one person's hot, maybe another's crazy. The strong seller's market will continue, but there are real estate pros who see it becoming more manageable in the year ahead. What's ahead in 2019 for El Paso County real estate? Well, we're slated to be the number one, uh, one, number one market in real estate next year in all of the U.S. Michelle Blessing's been in the local real estate business for years. She tracks the numbers and knows the average housing price in 2018, like the year before in 2017, was up 10%. Driving the increase is more buyers and limited inventory. It creates a scenario of people competing for homes. It is really daunting, especially to first time home buyers, but even to experienced home buyers when, you know, they don't understand, you know, kind of the, the new rules of the game. Early in 2018, home sales continued at the extreme pace of the previous year, but later in the year, sales tapered. Blessing thinks some buyers were tired and decided on a break. Put in three or four offers, didn't get the home, and they're just, they're done. It ended 2018 with a nearly 5% drop in home sales compared to the year before. Also impacting real estate sales is rising interest rates on loans. The outlook is a change toward a more balanced real estate market in the year ahead. We're still going really fast. We're just not going crazy fast. Doing all right. Real estate is a form of investing, so there's always a footnote when looking at numbers and forecasts. Sudden changes in the economy can always alter those market trends. Elizabeth? Bill, thanks.